So this is kind of like most of the lounge right here. Uh, everybody seems to be like upstairs or uh, in a different area just to watch the ship, you know, moving. <laughs> and, you know, we still haven't like moved yet. You know? We're still waiting. We're like almost 30 minutes behind schedule. But uh, here's the outside look right here. I feel the engines uh, moving, but uh, nothing yet. So, hon, what do you think of the sofa right here? So I'm going for round two for like some more food and uh, I'm trying out their Pirate's Pizza today. Uh, it's pretty much served uh, almost any time and you can just grab a slice anytime almost nearly but as a snack. Let me show you what it looks like. So you just basically got your cheese pizza. Apparently all the pepperoni pizza has already been taken already so they're constantly making it fresh uh, out of the oven. People are still hungry after the buffet. Hey guys, this is Drunken Bastard. So we just made it on time. No, we barely made it on time onto the diving hall. So we kept our like last minute seating. So the waitress was nice enough to let us sit down and make our meal right here. So uh, what we have right here is a medium rare steak with potatoes. And uh, we have some broccoli with some carrots and onions right here. So I'm gonna cut into it and give it a try. Looks like a New York steak. How is it? Let me see. Can look at that right here. And here we go. Mmm. Not bad. I do prefer a ribeye though. So I'm gonna continue eating. So what we have here is a tiramisu cake. Now looking at it, it looks like just one layer and a lot of the frosting right here. And I'll tell you one thing. I am a die-hard fan of tiramisu, hands down, so it goes nothing. All right. Not bad. I mean, like I said, there was only one layer, very thin layer, but most of it's all cream right here. On top, overall the, the tiramisu flavor, good taste, but I say out of 10, I'd say I'd give it about like a, a seven, pretty much. So I'm gonna take one more bite. Here. Not bad, though. So. I'm not saying that I can do better. All right, guys. We're gonna be moving on to the next thing. Okay? Please do don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Good morning guys, welcome, uh, welcome back to my channel for Food and Travel. This is your host, Drunken Bastard here. So right now it's our uh, second day on the cruise and I'm still trying to get used to the whole feeling of shaking left and right, left and right. And preventing myself from getting seasick. So before you guys go on the cruise, make sure you get some like medicine before like you uh, go on the cruise, otherwise you're gonna be puking all over the board, okay? So what I have here, your spinach omelet right here with cheese and tomatoes and then your basic common breakfast with some sausage, bacon, eggs benedict, french toast and like some hash browns right here. Alright guys so I'm going to start mushing on this and I'm going to bring out the next meal.
Okay, so for breakfast, you know, all stations are usually all the same. So, you know, you basically had your uh, French toast, eggs benedict, hash browns, and sausage and bacon, your basic stuff. So, I walked around all the stations and they're all the same today. You know, because, uh, of course, it's breakfast, everybody's going to eat the same thing. But uh, I decided to like, get something light, a little light. So, I have the cinnamon roll with it and a little tiny apple strudel. So, I didn't want to consume too much, you know, so that way I can save some room for like lunch and just a basic glass of orange juice. On our first stop to down to San Diego, okay? But I also wanted to share with you guys what the what the view is. So let me give you uh, a quick little overview of what it looks like. I've been eating quite a bit of this stuff, so, you know, when I look at the lunch, it's uh, some of the same similar stuff over and over, but, you know, there's like almost a total of like six different restaurants. Like I said, for example, tacos, burritos, got a hot dog place, got a pizza place, uh, and you got like a roast beef section with mashed potatoes, and there's a ch like Chinese food restaurant called Chopsticks and stuff. Yeah, I know, isn't that kind of weird? But I wanted to show you guys the dessert plate right here. So I have right here, it's a green tea, and what's this one? Lemonade. Lemonade. Okay. A lemonade. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a try right here. Okay. All right, bottoms up. Not bad. I don't know how this green tea, it doesn't taste like green tea whatsoever. It's just blue coloring chocolate, pretty much. Right. Overall, it's good. All right, here's the last, last one right here. There's nothing. Actually, this one's not bad, too. Good choice. So, in the dessert place, there's got like a whole bunch of like cakes and pastries and everything like that. So, there's so many to choose from and it's very difficult to like get them all. So I'm here with my wife and we just entered our bingo game for our first time on the cruise. So we're gonna try it out. This is our first time trying it out and hopefully we can win the big one and stuff, okay? So you guys sit tight and then I'm gonna put a time lapse to show the numbers up to the thing and let's get to it. So have you guys seen that TV show Impractical Jokers where Sal gets punished and had to say bingo every darn time that uh, his friends, you know, um, the other three behind the scenes had to tell him bingo. Sal obviously had to say bingo. And yeah, if you've seen that TV episode, oh man, I'm just like wondering, should I play, do that over here? But if you look around, there's a crap load of old senior folks all playing bingo. And if you guys don't know, a lot of these seniors really take this shit really seriously. So if you say bingo and then you don't have it, you know, they're gonna get really pissed off. So I don't know if I should try that. I, I'm good. I don't wanna get thrown off the ship, honestly. This, you know, they all toss me out.
Give her a round of applause for our next Boro Kenya. And 43. And who loves to party, everybody? We have our Motown music party happening tonight. Oh, you will see me right there dancing at 8, 15 p.m. together with your cruise director and the rest of your fan squad team. All right, if you're ready for our next number, if you're ready for our next number, can I get a whoo? Woo! Our next number is G57. G57. Oh, where are we out? Yeah, hey, Ben, hey, who won one away? There is one, I'm here. Hi, there you go. One, two, well, looks like the game is two, over. I was kind of close though, but oh seven, well. Seven, one, uh, two people won like a thousand dollar prize and uh, three. yeah, didn't get squat. But oh, that's all right, first timers, give it a try if you ever play. Yeah, so catch you guys later on the next video. Like and subscribe.